there's again guidelines here for toilet rooms. Um, I call them restrooms. They might call them toilet rooms. Um, I, I was thinking of uh, trying to think of some some nifty little pun to use, you know, about the the, the overflowing choices in restrooms or something like that. But um, I guess I did did just give a bad one. But hey. It's December, that's my gift to you is, is a bad pun. Uh, but there are many, many choices when it comes to toilet rooms, what goes in and what they need to look like. Um, this is when a design professional is very handy if you're retrofitting uh, a restroom. And the nice thing is you do not have to make every single restroom, every single toilet room, every single room in your facility accessible. And be clear on that, you don't have to make everything uh, meet, meet the standard. The goal is to have the closest one to the accessible route be then meet the accessibility requirements. So one, and it could be a, a unisex or, or, or a, you know, a, a, and that to me, quite frankly, is one of the easiest solutions is create a unisex toilet, uh, one that is designed for anyone who needs the, the extra space and, and meets all the requirements that then is large enough that you can also have, uh, for example, sometimes we have special needs um, adults that, that need a changing table. If you have a unisex restroom that meets all of the requirements for not only the standard, what we would call ADA issues, but in addition to some of the special needs, like an adult changing table in addition to a child changing table. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that's something you can do and, and then actually truly make your space accessible and, and inviting and open to all, uh, regardless of uh, physical presentation. Um, and so that's something to consider. Uh, here's some guides on it. Um, again, that resource. And again, when we, we talk about the the options, there's just like, like a couple um, a, a common things when we look at the clearances. The clearances vary. It's not consistent. It, it's based on how you approach. So if I'm approaching, like in these, these examples here on the upper left, if I'm approaching straight in, this is what my, my clearance is. If I'm approaching from the side, this is what my clearance is. Um, if I've got a changing table in there, this is what the, the clearance is. If I've got the approach here, I need turning space here. If I've got more than one urinal, one of them is supposed to be uh, accessible as far as the height and the, and the protrusion from the wall. Um, it, it varies. Um, and, and even where you put the fixtures, you know, it's all governed based on the design. And there are so many designs out there. Again, retrofitting a single space, making it unisex is much simpler many times and more economical and a better steward in your better steward of, of finances and space by doing that many times than, than trying to make everything. Um, so, you know, look at that first, try to make a restroom on every floor in your building. If you have multiple floors uh, compliant. Uh, to accessibility and it's not again it's not just for those that that we think of but uh, you know toilet height as silly as it sounds there's a minimum and a max toilet height for an accessible toilet that makes a difference for tall people or people whose knees don't work um, so just little things like that 